Hi everyone, so in this video we'll be taking a look at the potent substance known as Xenomorph Royal Jelly. For those of you familiar with the Alien prequel films, you'll know that the accelerant, or black goo, has become the new liquid substance within the expanded Alien universe, but the Royal Jelly was the first. The idea of Xenomorphs producing a substance like this was first introduced in the novelization of Aliens by Alan Dean Foster. In the novel, while while discussing the ant-like structure of the Xenomorph Hive, Bishop theorizes that perhaps the Royal Jelly has a role to play in creating the Queen at the egg stage. In the expanded universe, Royal Jelly was produced by a regular Queen or Queen Mother and was thought to have a hand in creating new matriarchs, similar to the process that real-life bees use to create fertile queens. The jelly also proved useful in the event that a queen died and there would be no Praetorian guard to take her place. The royal jelly would be used as a last result in that case by a Praetorian or warrior xenomorph ingestion. Beyond the creation of a new hive cast, its true purpose remains unknown. Each queen's royal jelly also retains unique value to each hive, making jelly from the opposing hive easy to differentiate. Royal Jelly came to the forefront during the Aliens' Earth War and Genocide comic storylines during the aftermath of Earth's xenomorph infestation. Humans were left to harvest the substance from remaining hives that had been abandoned on Earth and refine the jelly into a performance-enhancing drug known as Xenozip. This drug eventually became a problem though, as it was highly addictive and could trigger deadly results. It became so much of an issue that authorities of the medtech company used domesticated xenomorphs as bloodhounds to find xenozip junkies and drug dealers to shut them down. This proved extremely effective as the xenomorphs being used to crack the jelly could easily smell the scent of an opposing hive's royal jelly. As supply of the royal jelly dwindled on Earth, William Yutani still sought the need for more and ordered the Colonial Marines on a mission to the xenomorph homeworld to recover more of the substance. It was there, however, they found themselves in the midst of a brutal civil war between the traditional and red strain of xenomorphs. In the 2010 video game Aliens vs Predator, Wei Yu scientists were able to extract a large amount of jelly from the matriarch to be used in different experiments. This led to much of the substance being left in small canisters scattered throughout their facilities. Many have also theorized that when Specimen 6 stumbled across these canisters and destroyed them, this may have led to its ultimate transformation into the Queen. Like I mentioned earlier, Royal Jelly is similar to the Black Liquid seen in Prometheus and Alien Covenant. However, the Black Liquid seems to have a more focused effect on organisms. So what do you guys think of the Xenomorph Royal Jelly? If you're interested in reading comics that feature the jelly, be sure to check out Aliens Genocide, Harvest, and Earth War. As always, thank you for watching and for more on the Alien and Predator universe, subscribe to Hybrid Network.